It's a good morning for a warm cup of coffee. It is cold out there. We'll start with a live look over downtown Portland and the Willamette River. We're looking toward the east side over the Hawthorne Bridge. It's 31 degrees with calm winds. The good news is we don't have much fog out there this morning. But look at this. Lake Oswego, we're looking out toward uh, Country Club Road. 24 degrees there right now. 29 in Vancouver with overcast skies and 28 degrees in McMinnville. Elsewhere across the metro, a lot of us are in the 20s. 28 degrees again at the airport in Vancouver. 29 in Gresham. 28 in Hillsborough on the west side of town. Even the coast looking really chilly in the 30s. 32 degrees in Tillamook. 27 for Salem. 20s through the gorge. Single digits in Bend. I've looked at some locations in far eastern Oregon. They've dropped below freezing overnight. We've been getting a lot of cold, chilly looking pictures sent in to us, and we love seeing your pictures. This one from Janae. The Kaiser ice hanging on to all the branches. Anything that it touches, send us your pictures. News at coin.com. So, our dominant weather feature the next week is going to be this high pressure slowly sliding to the east. All the storms you can see headed up north, riding the jet stream and mainly avoiding us. But I am watching this disturbance as it moves down out of Canada. You can see the clouds are a bit thicker. This brings along with it the chance of some isolated drizzle or flurries later on in the day. And I'll show you that here on Raincast. This is 4 o'clock. You'll notice those thicker clouds and even some areas of light drizzle off the coast. Then uh, some really spotty drizzle as we work our way through the evening hours. Uh, the concern with that is that we're cold enough for it to freeze on contact, which could make things tricky. But again, we're not seeing much here on Raincast, and most of it is out at the coast. We're just dealing with thick clouds all day long and through the night tonight for the Willamette Valley. Mostly cloudy out at the coast, and then the chance of that drizzle later on today. Look at these high temperatures for the I 5 corridor. Mostly cloudy. We're stuck in the clouds, and that will keep a lid on our temperatures. East of the Cascades, cold to start, cold to finish, increasing clouds there. And the chance of flurries later on today. Partly cloudy and 33 at government camp today. And we're dry, so we won't be getting any more snow or much more snow, maybe a flurry or two, but that's about it at our ski resorts. Hour by hour today, your day planner overcast and chilly at noontime, 31 degrees. And four o'clock, I think we're pretty dry. Again, that chance of a flurry or drizzle out at the coast. Tonight, the symphony at Arlene Schnitzer. Hall, 8 o'clock tonight. It'll be freezing when you walk on into the concert venue, so layer up for that walk in. Here's your dry seven day forecast and cold, I should add. <laughs> we are cloudy today and tomorrow. Then we get a bit of an east wind that I think will kick some of the morning clouds out of here by afternoon later on this week. But all the while, we are in the upper 30s and low 40s. Yeah, bring those jackets and gloves everywhere you go. I know, gotta get used to that. <laughs> Leave them in the car. Yeah, right. You know? <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Handy to have them there.